Danny. If you don't know me already, um, I'm going to be reading Aladdin today. Um, if you saw my post earlier, I thought with the film up and coming, it might be a good idea. Um, excuse the state of me, I've had swimming this morning, I've been at Washbrook's Farm all day, it's been a great day, but um, alas, my appearance is not the best. Um, however, I promised you a book, and a book you will get. The children are finally asleep, so um, I thought it was time to sit down and read. Um, excuse my positioning as well, it's the only place that I could get light. Um, so we're going to go with it. Alright, um, I'm just going to try and switch this around now so you can see the book. So here we go. So this is a book from... Um, one of the um, Young Reading series, if I can see the show, The Spine, there, I don't know how you're going to be able to see that, the focus is a bit dodgy, but down here it's um, Aladdin and his magical lamp, and it's from the Osborne Young Reading selection, so that's the box set at the moment that you can get for 39 99 you get 50 books, um, really, really good for, oh, there you go, it says it up there, look, Osborne Young Reading, um, really, really good for uh, children who are just sort of learning to read, you'll see as I um, show you through the book. Um, but yeah, so we've got a magic uncle. There was once a lazy boy named Aladdin. His dad, who had to run the family business alone, died of worry. Aladdin's mother was in despair. One day, Aladdin was messing around, as usual, when a man came up to him. Aladdin, he cried, it's me, Uncle Abanaza, your father's long-lost brother. I didn't know I had an uncle. I've been away for many years. That evening, Aladdin's new uncle invited himself to supper. When he heard that Aladdin didn't have a job, he bought him a fancy store to run. Aladdin and his mother were very happy. Neither of them guessed Abanaza was really a wicked magician. I tell you. The next day, Abanaza took Aladdin on a long walk out of the city. Here we are, said his uncle at last. He lit a fire, threw some powder on it, and said some strange words. A trap door made of stone appeared in the grass. Aladdin was astonished. His uncle could do magic. Under this stone there are many treasures, but I only want one, said Abanaza. Bring me the lamp. But uncle, no buts. Take this ring. Oh, having wireless issues. But first, Aladdin wanted a home for Bada. He described his perfect palace to the genie, and the genie built it overnight. Marble floors, jewels in the walls. Aladdin rode to the Sultan's palace, dressed in his finest clothes. The wedding day began with music and dancing, and finished with feasting and fireworks. That evening, Bada went to her new home. She was delighted. Aladdin was the most handsome man she'd ever seen and their palace was the best in the world. Chapter 6. Abanaza Returns Far away in the desert, Abanaza learned of Aladdin's good fortune. He must have escaped with the lamp, he snarled. He went to Aladdin's city to find the lamp. Hi, Amy. New lamps for old, he shouted. New lamps for old. Bada heard the shouts from her palace. That sounds good, she thought, and found an old lamp to give him. Abanaza ran to a quiet corner. Kerry, you're pitting me off. Abanaza ran to a quiet corner and rubbed the lamp. What can I do for you? asked the genie. Take me, the palace, and the princess to the middle of the desert, said Abanaza. <laughs> Later that morning, the Sultan looked for... I'm glad you two guys are relaxed, because, you know, I'm feeling a little bit stressed here, I'll be honest. Later that morning, the Sultan looked from his window and nearly fainted. My, the daughter's papalis has gone, he said. He thought Aladdin had tricked him and sent some soldiers to arrest him. Aladdin returned from a hunting trip to find a group of soldiers and no palace. He was just as surprised as the Sultan. Don't worry, I'll find your daughter, he promised. I've had a lot of practice. Lily likes a lot of stories. Um, you'd better or else you're dead. Aladdin clasped his hands together in despair and the genie of the ring appeared. 
Oh, I'd forgotten about you, said Aladdin. Please help me. I can bring Badder to you, he replied, but I can take you to her. Oh, I can't bring Badder to you, he replied, but I can take you to her. Okay, right, hey? Seconds later, Aladdin was beneath Badder's window. A wicked man tricked me. Don't worry, Aladdin called. I have a plan. Agree to eat with him tonight. I'll sneak in with some poison and you can put it in his wine. This is much darker than the Disney film, I have to say. Avanelza was so busy gazing at Badder, he didn't see her poison his drink. After one sip, he fell to the ground and died. Aladdin searched the palace for his lamp. One wish later, he and Badder were home. Chapter 7. The Evil Brother <laughs> I love wine. In fact, I have a glass right there. <laughs> Just to get me through, you know. Right, chapter seven, the evil brother. But they still weren't safe. Abenaza had an evil brother and he wanted revenge. The brother dressed up as Fatima, a holy woman. He stood outside Aladdin's palace pretending to heal people. Badger was very excited to see Fatima and invited her inside. What a lovely hall, said the fake Fatima. But if you hang a rock's egg from the dome, it will be even better. The rock was an enormous bird which laid huge white eggs. Right, after this we have to take pictures of our wine and post it underneath. That's the, that's the deal. Badder loved Fatima's suggestion and asked Aladdin. No problem, he said, and called the genie of the lamp. Bring me a rock's egg. What? Anything but that, wailed the genie. If you ask her such a thing, I must kill you. But I know it wasn't your idea, he went on. Fatima is really Abanaza's brother. In disguise, he wants you dead. Aladdin was shocked. He had to think fast. Oh, my head's so sore. He asked Fatima to heal his headache. As the evil brother came closer, Aladdin grabbed his dagger and killed him. Kerry, get more. <laughs> With no more evil men to bother them, Aladdin and Badr were safe. In time, Aladdin became sultan and his mother became a grandmother. They had all they could wish for, so the lamp and the ring were left in a drawer. Who knows, the genies may still be there today. So there you go. That was Aladdin and his magical lamp. So like I say, this is one of the Osborne paperbacks that came from the um, 39.99 set of 50 books for the Young Reading Library, but you can get it as a hardback for 5.99, which is a kind of a posh version. It has a nice little um, ribbon bookmark running through it as well. Um, so yeah, quite a lot different to the film, isn't it? I've never actually read that, so that was interesting. But hi, Katie. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Kerry, for the round of applause there. Um, thank you for watching, um, and I'll post the link to the books in the comments. Thank you. See you later.